Hello everyone. Here are some simple math problems that many people get wrong. Would you believe? The first problem is just multiplication and division, simple numbers, and people still get it wrong. The second has addition and subtraction together with multiplication and again stumps many people. The last equation is a real stumper and even went viral on social media. Why do people get these problems wrong? Well, it has to do with the order of operations. What comes first, multiplication or division, addition or subtraction? And in the last equation, we have those pesky parentheses. So let's first look at this equation. It's the simplest of the three. What answer did you get? Some of you will say 25 and some of you will say one. So which is it, one or 25? Is it 20 divided by four, which is five, then multiply by five, so we have five times five or 25 as the answer, or do you multiply first and then divide? Is it four times five is 20? And then 20 divided by 20 is one. Is the answer 25 or one? What do you do first, multiply or divide? How about this problem, 20 minus five times two plus 10. Is this one easier with addition and subtraction? Is this five times two, because we all know multiplication comes first, or do we? More about that in a minute. Is it five times two, which is 10, plus 10, which is 20, and then 20 minus 20, which is zero, is the answer zero? Or should we subtract before adding, in which case we would still multiply first, five times two is 10, and then 20 minus 10 is 10, plus 10 is 20. So is the answer 20, or is the answer zero? 20 or zero, it can't be both, which is the correct answer? So before we look at the third problem, the one that went viral, let's talk about the order of operations in math, otherwise known as PEMDAS, a rule that tells us the order we need to follow to solve a math problem. That should clarify things, right? If we have a rule like PEMDAS to follow? PEMDAS tells us that the P goes first, P is for parentheses, then comes E exponents, then M multiplication, then D division, next A is addition, and finally S for subtraction, right or not? Which comes first, multiplication or division? Does it matter? The way PEMDAS is written, you would think multiplication always comes before division. How about addition and subtraction? Does addition have to come before subtraction? After all, that's how PEMDAS is written with M before D and A before S, right or not? The answer is not. Multiplication and division are considered mathematically to be on equal footing, so let's circle those two letters and keep them together. Likewise, addition and subtraction are also considered to have equal status, lower than multiplication and division, but equal to each other, so let's circle those two letters. Now, if multiplication and division are essentially the same, does it matter which you do first? Well, of course it matters. You can see this from the examples I just did. You get two different answers depending on which you do first. But wait, if you Google, does it matter if you do multiplication or division first in PEMDAS, here is what you get, or what I got. The first answer that popped up on my screen says very clearly, it doesn't matter if you do division or multiplication first. What? But of course it does. We just saw that if I divide first, I get 25, but if I multiply first, I get one. So of course it matters. I get a different answer depending on which I do first, so it matters. In my day, back in grade school, we learned the mnemonic, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, which of course, if you take the first letter of each of those words, we have PEMDAS. Back then, we didn't have Google machines, so learning mnemonics was the way to go. And I think it still is, or ought to be. Of course, we also learned the mnemonic, my very earnest mother just sat upon nine pickles for the order of the planets from the sun, but that doesn't work anymore since Pluto has lost its status as a planet. Oh well, but PEMDAS still works 
and it should work forever, or will it? Well, back before the early 1900s, there was actually much controversy about the order of operations. Some of that was caused by confusion, since typesetters didn't always take the extra time or didn't have enough space on a page to include parentheses when needed. And apparently, there is still much controversy. If you look at this viral math problem on YouTube, you will see it has 23 million views. And in the comments section, there is a lot of controversy, some claiming that in their country, math is done differently. <laughs> we will revisit this viral math problem and see what the solution might be. But first, let's get back to talking about how PEMDAS works, and then I'll address the previous problems, including the viral one. So we already said that P is for parentheses, so that always goes first. And then E is for exponents, that's next. So for example, if we have 2 times 3 in parentheses squared, then we would first multiply 2 times 3 and get 6, and then 6 squared is 36. No controversy there, right? Next in PEMDAS is M, but also D. M and D go together, that's multiplication and division. They are considered to have the same status or standing. And next in PEMDAS is A and S, addition and subtraction. A and S also go together. They also have equal standing. But there's one more very important thing to know, and that is we must solve the problem reading from left to right. Let me repeat that. The problem must be solved reading from left to right. That is very important. So no, multiplication doesn't come before division just because the M is before the D in PEMDAS. And no, it isn't true that the order doesn't matter. There is only one correct answer to this problem, and that is 25. Why? Because in this problem, we don't have parentheses or exponents. So the next level is multiplication and division, which are equal, except that we have to solve reading from left to right. And in this problem, reading from left, that means dividing first, 20 divided by 4 and then multiplying. So 20 divided by 4 is 5, then multiply by 5, 5 times 5, and we get 25, and that is the correct answer. How many of you got that right? OK, let's look at the second problem, 20 minus 5 times 2 plus 10. Does the order of addition and subtraction make any difference? And again, yes, it does. You must solve this reading from left to right. Let's see what happens if we don't follow that rule for addition and subtraction. 5 times 2 is 10. And then let's do addition first for kicks. So 10 plus 10 is 20. And then 20 minus 20 is 0. So if we do addition before subtraction, we get 0. All right, let's do this the proper way, which is thinking of addition and subtraction as equal, except reading from left to right for the order. So of course, multiplication is a higher order. So again, 5 times 2 is 10. And now reading from left to right, 20 minus 10 is 10. And then we add. So now 10 plus 10 is 20. So now we get 20, which is the correct answer. Just for kicks again, let's put this into Excel and see if it knows how to get the right answer. And yes, we get 20. Now let's take a look at the viral problem. It is 6 divided by 2 times, and in parentheses, 2 plus 1. So first we take what's in parentheses. So that's 2 plus 1, which is 3. So now we have 6 divided by 2 times 3. And now the problem has just division and multiplication, which have equal standing. So reading from left to right, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. So the answer is 9. By the way, if you write the problem this way in Excel, you can see the answer is also 9. Why do some people get 1 as the answer? Well, if you use implicit parentheses, that is, you assume that the 2 that is in front of the 2 plus 1 that's in parentheses is attached to that, 
then you would add two plus one and get three, and then you would multiply that by the two attached to it, so you get six, and then six divided by six is one. That is not the way we conventionally use math today, at least not in the United States. If you want to attach the two to the two plus one in parentheses, then you should include another set of parentheses to read like this. Six divided by, and then you would have another set of parentheses, so open, two times open, two plus one, close, close. If the problem was written this way, then clearly the answer is one. Why do some people think there is a set of implicit parentheses there? Well, think about how we write division problems with a numerator and a denominator. Then this problem would be written like this, six over two times in parentheses, two plus one. In this case, many people would see the numerator as separate from the denominator and then solve this with implicit parentheses around the denominator. Now, if you solve the denominator first, you get six, and then six divided by six is one. The solution is, of course, to use more parentheses to make the problem clearer, and then there wouldn't be any controversy. And there you have it, PEMDAS in a nutshell, or is it? I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something.